Hey guys, so I um, owed this video. This is a, just a really quick video for some photo editing using Pixlr. Um, this was our drawing that we took from Sketchbook Pro and now we're bringing it into uh, Pixlr just so we can do just a little bit of photo editing just so I can kind of show you guys a little bit how it works. Okay, so we're going to start off right away. You have um, things like your, uh, your text, um, borders, overlays, effects, um, and adjustments. I mean, there's the other stuff there too, but that's just kind of like, whatever. There's stickers, and uh, I guess they made an update for Halloween or whatever. But anyway, um, so we're going to jump right into it. I'm going to jump here into effect, um, effects. And uh, they have quite a few here, but uh, we're going to go with vintage. It's actually my favorite. So um, as you can see, hopefully you can see that well enough, but there's a lot of nice filters that you can use. Um, I use this program a lot for um, a lot of my uh, my drawings that I do. So there's um, there's those. Um, let's see. There's we can go into there's some soft filters. Some of them take a little bit longer to to update. But anyway, um, these ones aren't necessarily my favorite. But anyway, so we're gonna go back to vintage and let's see. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's adjust how much. I don't want it too strong. Okay, and click apply. Um, also, too, let's see. There is, um, you can adjust the vibrance for how strong it is. So let's see if I were to turn it way up, and you can see the color kick, kick in a lot stronger. So we're going to just set it just for that. Um, let's see, what else do we have? We have the, uh, I did this in one of my other videos, but the focal blur tool, which is pretty cool. So, as you can see, it's not in focus, and now it becomes in focus. So there's that. Um, it's it's actually a really this this really is a nice app. I really enjoy this one. Um, it just has a lot of really good things uh, as far as like effects and stuff, but also too being able to do um, photo editing at a pretty easy level. Pretty, um, it's pretty comfortable too. It's a really nice layout. It's not confusing. Um, there's also, let's see, there's also these uh, leaks, which is practically like uh, lens flares. So let's see, if I were to, let's let's try this one. And you can adjust them and put them in different areas. You can put it over there. Um, you can rotate it. So yeah, so I mean, there's all types of stuff you can do with this. Um, let's see. Let's go into um, borders. This is one of my favorites. Is um, ink? Well, not that one though. So it might not be that easy to see because I already have black on the edges, but uh, you can kind of see it up there. I kind of like the way that looks. Um, also, too, you have uh, your text. So we could just put. Um, Let's see, let's just put, uh, okay, let's just say Jessica. Okay, so we can pick uh, a lot of different text. There's actually, there's, there's really a lot of nice text in here, which is really cool. Um, let's just go with that one. We can adjust the color. Um, let's see, yeah, here we go. Okay, so we can pick our colors. Um, Let's go with, let's see, yeah, I don't know what to go with. Let's just go with that, that color right now. Anyway, and then to adjust and to move it around, you take two fingers and you can move your text over here, um, or yeah, you can pinch the zoom to make them smaller. Um, also too, you can, um, you can rotate them just by turning your fingers, you can rotate the text. So. That's kind of cool. I enjoy that app. Um, not that <laughs> I enjoy um, being able to use that. I actually use this a lot for my thumbnails for creating them. Um, also, too, there's stickers, but I mean, I don't know. I I don't use any of this stuff. <laughs> so let's see. Also, too, um, you can mess with the contrast. So as you can see, we just turned the contrast way up. So actually, it looks kind of cool right there. So let's apply that. Um, and 
also too, there's the sharpening tool, which this is actually kind of good for sharpening your photos or your work a little bit. Now, that was extremely sharp. I'm sure you could probably see that up on her hair. Um, so let me just turn that down a little bit. Yeah, so that's that's not so bad. Okay, so anyway, that was just a quick, very quick little review um, of uh, Pixlr and just kind of how it works. Um, we're going to be using this a lot with some of our other drawings that are coming up and also to um, actually use this quite a bit for um, my comic, The Commander. So anyway, um, so that's it for right now, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you're watching this video and you like art and just cool uh, videos, feel free to subscribe. Um, I want to thank you on thanks <laughs> say thank you to all of the people that have subscribed to my channel yesterday. I got quite a few subscribers yesterday and then also um, I think I got some this morning too. So um, if you're watching my videos, I appreciate you subscribing. Um, it helps me out a lot, you know, helps me keep encouraged, you know, keep going making these videos and stuff. So yeah, also too, um, don't forget to connect with me on Facebook and Twitter. Um, and then also, too, I will be uploading some more uh, videos that kind of with me talking a little bit more about the Commander comic that I'm doing. All right, so I hope to see you guys in the next video. And like always, you guys stay awesome and take it easy. All right, bye.